hi everyone today i would like to show you how we are going to be using the rfid system to make a simple door lock access control so this is very simple in my other previous tutorial i showed you how to interface the mfrc 522 rfid reader with arduino so you can make reference to that other tutorial and in that tutorial i also showed you how to get the uid from the tags we have two tags we have this key holder tag and we also have another tag this white one so after getting the uid from these tags you can be able to use them for different purposes so the setup for today is very simple we are going after connecting our reader to the arduino we have a simple i2c lcd display i've also also talked about this one before how to connect it to the Arduino, you can make reference. And then we have a servo motor. This servo motor is going to be working as our door lock. So the setup, you can compare it with the schematic that I'll put above there so that you can be able to see how to connect the different components. Then you can have a look at the simple program you're going to be using for this setup to work. This is the program you're going to be using. It's not very hard. The major thing you have to do is you have to include the libraries wire.h liquid crystal 12c.h this is for controlling the i2c lcd we are using then you have the spi mfrc522.h this one's for controlling the rfid reader and then you have servo.h for controlling the motor then the other major issue we have to talk about is the tag here remember you're using two tags you have the key holder tag and the other white tag so because you want to test the working of the rfid when one tag can match the input in the memory and the other one cannot match so you're going to be using the uid of one of the tags so you press this uid with any of the uids of the tags that you have so in this case i'm putting this and i've already explained how to get the uid from the tags in my other previous video which you can always go back and make reference then the other parts are all the same if you know how to use the servo motor and the lcd display then the other part of the code is not very hard to follow so you can simply just check the description in the, the description below and then you find the link to the code otherwise the rest of it is very simple and what this code simply does is that when the when you bring the tag closer to the reader if if the tag is the right one then you're going to have the motor turn to show the movement of the door and then the lcd is going to write the word the door is open and then access granted however if the tag is the wrong one then you're going to have the, the motor will not turn meaning that the door is not going to be opened and then the lcd is going to print wrong tag shown and then access denied so we can upload this code to our board and see what exactly we are talking about so we have now uploaded our code into the reader so we want to show you can see here from the lcd display so it is to show our tag so i have two tags i begin by placing the white tag so when i press the white tag it shows you access granted and the door is going to be open then so the servo motor is going to turn when the door is open and then after a few seconds closes yeah like that okay so now let me try this other key holder tag and i see so remember in that program you have used the a different tag so when you put this one so you see you have a wrong 
a wrong tag shown so access is denied so in this case our door is not going to be open I'll try again access denied if you put a correct one okay so i think you can see how the system works thanks for watching